everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I am doing very well. I'm back home. Yay! <laughs> Um, and I just, I'm in the mood to art, even though my desk is still pretty much a mess. I don't care. Um, I need to get some art done. So, it's time for my giant life. Um, this is a giant deck of cards that I've been working with Ann Williamson and a few other artists. And we've been um, playing around with some prompts, making it looking really cool for you, and just enjoying. Okay? So, let's see. This month, which is the month of May... It's my giant dreams, all right? It's about uh, where we want to go. What are our dreams as far as going somewhere, travel, or whatever the case may be? Um, I did take my, oops, sorry, I put it back, my um, sanding block, and I just sand the clear coat off the front of this, as you can see. Can you see it? It's not all gone, but I give it a little bit of tooth. So it's got a little bit of tooth to work with. So what we're going to mess around with today, um, I have this map here that I got at a thrift store. Actually, I got it at Scrapper's Exchange, which was um, down when I was down in North Carolina. Don't cry. I'm tearing it apart. Yep, that's what it's for. You know what's funny? Speaking of maps, um, I drove back the other day. I had to drive back from uh, North Carolina. And on the way, I had stopped at a rest area. And there's this guy in the front seat, and he's looking at a map. Now, it, the reason it shocked me is because you guys know, everybody nowadays has GPS or some type of navigation or something in their um, vehicles. Well, he had this map. And you talk about it was all completely worn out and just, it looked like half of the map was missing. But boy, he was studying it very intently and checking things out. And you know, I kind of liked the idea because if you think about it, GPS, and I'm sorry, I'm tearing this up while I'm chatting with you guys. Um, GPS gets you from point A to point B, right? And what I liked about having a map is you can yeah you can go point A to point B but you can also I had my mod with me when I was traveling so um, but you with a map you can take the side roads and check things out and I'll tell you there's nothing more boring than um, you know throughway travel when you're on an interstate it's just to me it's boring as all heck I would much rather use a back road, go through red lights, go through these little binky, inky dinky towns that are basically forgotten and um, play, you know, travel like that. Right? What do you guys think? I'm just curious. I know that's what I would rather do. I would much rather, um, you know, travel through the small towns and and that's one thing that I'm really excited about I can't wait for my husband um, to retire because one of the things that we're really excited about doing is traveling so and we have purchased a small RV we had a bigger one and it was great but it was a lot of work too and it was a lot of maintenance and it was you know it, it took a while it's really weird I'm having a hard time finding supplies here all right. Um, you know, it was, it, like I said, the, the bigger Class A, which is like a bus, was nice. Don't get me wrong. It was really nice. But it was very difficult maintenance-wise. We had an older one. Um, another thing about it is you can't, with a Class A, you can't just pull over on a main street and, you know, park and, and go for a walk. Because, again, it's like a bus. So we ended up selling that, and once we got closer to retirement, we did go and we bought a Class A. And one of the reasons we did that is, A, um, I'll be able to travel a lot better uh, with an RV versus being in a vehicle. 
um, I'll be able to get up and walk around and I can also lay down should the need, you know, should I need to. So we're really looking forward to um, doing some traveling once he's done. So that's, I'm kind of excited about this month's prompt. It's going to be fun. I need to get some more papers. I'll be right back. All right, so I pulled out some other papers here just because I wanted something a little bit different here and there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chat with you, give you my take on what I'm doing here, and then I most likely will fast forward through the process and do some more work on this. And uh, then we'll come back at the end and chit chat. So, um, yeah, think about, this is about travel. Where, where would you dream to go? Now, I, I kind of am torn on this because um, a lot of people dream to go like over to Paris, um, France, or to Italy, or wherever. I am at a different thought as well as my husband. Um, we want to go around the U.S. We want to see what's here in our own country uh, before we go elsewhere. So, you know, when we talk about going somewhere, it's always like, you know, I want to go to Grand Canyon. I want to go see Mount Rushmore. I want to go see... Um, the Badlands, I want to see, you know, I've already been to Colorado Rockies, but the Rocky Mountains, or, you know, we, we want to see things here. I'd love to, I actually have seen them, um, the redwood trees, um, that's not the exact name of them, but the, the huge trees up in uh, California, in the northern part of California. I've been there, um, my brother took me the last time I was out there to visit him, um, but, you know, Hubs, Hubs and I, whoops, that's what we want to do. We want to go see what's in the U.S. So with our RV, that's what we plan on doing. Is we are just going to, we're actually talking at this point about starting a, um, starting like a, a, a travel um, where we want to go type notebook, like a composition notebook, and say, you know, start out with each state and say, okay, what do we want to see in these states? So that's another project I've got to get to work on, um, but I will. It'll it'll get there eventually. So um, you know my dreams of going places are here in the U.S. So I'm gonna try to put that as well as I can into um, this page, and we're just gonna play. All right, here's some stamps. Let's throw some stamps in here. I don't know if these are U.S. stamps. I don't know. They probably are not. I'm not going to worry about it. I just, I want to use stamps. So I'm going to put some stamps down here. Oh, these are U.S. stamps. Look at that. Perfect. Throw in some stamps. There we go. All right, let me dry this up. Make sure I've got everything da glued down real well. And... Uh, like I said, I'm going to fast forward through this. Um, if I, you know, I'm putting something down and I want to chat with you and let you know what it's about, I will come back on. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope while you're watching, you think about where you would dream to go. All right. We'll be right back. guys sorry about that I ended up sitting here playing um, I was chatting with Gina and I just I finished doing that this is just a piece of 
cardboard that came out of, I don't know, maybe a plate or something could be. Um, and I just painted it with the paint. I haven't dried that one yet, but I will. Um, now these, this is a texture plate that I got when I was down in North Carolina. I got a set of about six of them. And um, this one is like a road map, and I thought, oh, how perfect is it? So I'm going to use some white paint here. And I haven't used these before like this, and I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. So I want to get some white on my brayer. Yeah, this should work really well. And we're just going to whiten up this texture plate. And let's see. I just plan to put it down. Interesting. Interesting. I like it. That's really cool, isn't it? I think I want to put some more on. I want more up here. So let's do it again. Right through here. going to be one of my new favorites I can tell you that all right now this I just want to just throw some white down all right so let me dry these up and we'll be right back
All right, guys. Well, for some reason, uh, my camera quit working. It said the battery was dead, even though it's been charging all night. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, what, anyways, what I did is I used that piece of cardboard. I glued that down. Um, this is a piece of fabric that I put onto some double-sided tape. This is a uh, mask. This I'd like to go to New Orleans. It's it's in here somewhere. Um, and what I did is I just kind of put together different places that I'd like to go. I've got Wyoming, Arizona, Texas, uh, New Orleans, which I know is in Louisiana, uh, Mississippi. I'd like to go to Oregon. Um, I really want to travel the United States. And uh, like I said, that's what Hubs and I are planning on doing as soon as he retires and we're going to do some traveling, so it should be a lot of fun. But um, I really hope you guys join us on this month's prompt, which is, you know, places you dream to go. And these are all the places I dream to go. And I will make it there. It's just going to take some time, but we will. We'll get there. Uh, definitely check out the links for the other ladies um, in the description box below. And you'll see a couple more artists take on this month's prompt. And it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Anne, for allowing me to play along. I really enjoy it. All right. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, please like, comment, and share. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe, of course. And there she is. There is my May dreaming of where I'd love to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll chat with you all soon. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!